We are at a very, very famous building. Many of you already know where we're at just by seeing these signatures. We are at the world famous comedy store in West Hollywood. This is where every comic that you've ever heard of, a lot of famous actors, they all got their start right here. And a lot of them are still performing here to this day. But interesting dynamic, and the reason why we're here is because this is also a place where many of these famous comedians have literally been traumatized, and I mean that, by the ghosts that inhabit this building that was once called Ciro's Nightclub. In 1940, William Wilkerson, with some financial help from notorious mobster Bugsy Siegel, opened up Ciro's, a high-profile den of inequity and office for the violent and dark underworld. Talks of murder, torture, and bodies buried in cement was nothing new to the mob. It closed its doors in 1957, and in 1972, became the world famous The Comedy Store. Imagine being in a extremely haunted building, and you're performing to hundreds of people, and you have an experience with a ghost on stage. Well, that is exactly what my first interview, this is what happened to him. Actor and comedian Jay Moore, most notably seen in the Academy Award-nominated film Jerry Maguire, as well as Suicide Kings and the Ghost Whisperer, to name just a few, is joined by his son, Mac. So listen, someone sent me this video, and there was this moment where you were on stage, and I didn't know if this was part of your routine or you were telling the damn truth, but you were saying you felt something up there. Oh, all the time. Where was it? It was in the main room. Jay, Jay's son, Mac, and myself make our way into the building. There is a dark heaviness, the opposite of what you would think you would feel when entering a comedy club, where laughs have filled the space in the greatest abundance for decades. It's very odd and off-putting. Were you in this room performing? I was on that stage, yes, sir. You were on this stage. So I'm on stage. I'm not exaggerating. That's about four minutes in. I realized not only has no one laughed, and they're not only not laughing, they're actually frozen. I'm talking like, hey, I'm talking to you like as a man. They were frozen like, like a painting. And I'm having this dialogue with myself, and I go, how long can I just sit here in this <laughs> dimension? And I go, get lost, ghost. And the crowd goes, <laughs> And I'm like, ugh. You know, and it got more and more, and I was getting sp sped up, and my heart rate was getting sped up. There's no explanation of this earth. There's no scientific, metaphysical, there's nothing you could possibly, it could ever have been except what it was. I'm immediately shocked by how affected Jay still is by what he experienced on this stage. But what he tells me now that apparently happened to the late comedy legend Sam Kinison is absolutely terrifying. Sam Kinison, I think, was on stage and <laughs> zipped it up. Sam Kinison was? What I heard was Carl LeBeau, they were best friends, saw Sam being picked up off stage. Something picking his whole body up. Yeah, he was like in air. Jay mentions that another comic saw an entity upstairs in the belly room who he claims was the ghost of Sam Kinison. Before we head up, it's important to note that the second floor of the comedy store is packed with strange stories and violent history. Some of these stories are detailed by employees of the Comedy Store, supplying us with the building blocks of a true haunting. So right above us was Mickey Cohen's old office. Mickey Cohen, a ruthless enforcer who worked for Bugsy Siegel, was well known for using extremely violent methods when dealing with anyone who crossed him. If you ever had to go see Mickey, you'd go up these stairs. And like going and seeing Mickey in his office was bad news. Right on the back of the wall here, and the hole's still there, he would just look at you, you'd go on the stairs and put his gun through the wall, and just pop you on the staircase. This up-and-comer, he said that he was grabbed and slammed against the ceiling and was so freaked out that he's like, I quit. One day, I could hear somebody walking up the steps. And I look up, and somebody turns the corner, and he's wearing a cowboy jacket. So when I'm getting ready to leave, I walk past the steps and I look up for a second and I see that figure walking away, just as I'd seen hours prior. A second see... sighting. Wow. Having these compelling stories intensifies our journey as we continue our ascension to the belly room upstairs. And as we approach, it seems that Jay is praying. You have no place for any negativity here, folks. Y'all gotta go. 
So when we came up here, you, I heard you start, you were talking to somebody. Who, who are you talking to? Uh, any spirits, I'll say. Like, if I go in a room, I don't feel hinky. I'll just say I walk in the light of my Lord. I say it whenever I go in a weird place. Without fear, it's just yeah. my intentions are what they are. It's like your natural instinct. Just walking through here for the first time, like, uh... It got cold right now, where I am. Like, yeah, my, help, just... I'm, my arms are, like, ice cold, but from the inside, really. It's interesting. Yeah. This is a weird room. It's great. This is, I know. But this, I love it. Like, I, it's is... like roller coaster feeling. But I feel like... This is a weird room. I couldn't explain it. It's like somebody's holding my elbows, but... Yeah. It, this is a weird... Warm, my elbows got ice cold, and then somebody yeah. went like this to warm them for me. This and then my phone room. dropped into my pocket. It was a lot to get out all at once without sounding like a maniac. Do you see us here? Just stay right here for me, buddy. Why? Because I don't want you to be where he's conjuring stuff. Can you do something in here with us standing here? Holy <laughs> Jay, feel this. There's like, no, 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 no. There's like, like cold wind. I feel it. Is there a there's vent right here? No, there's nothing. There's that, but that's not, oh, it's not on. There's nothing that's coming off. Yeah. But I just felt cold wind right here. It's like hot it's, up here, yeah, too. Hold on. Billy? Yeah. Give me that tri field, please. All right. Can you do more? This is great. Come on, guys. Can you please move something? Can you touch one of us? Can you turn a light on? I know this isn't the first time you've done this. I heard something over there. I just did too. Metal? Yeah. The first time you've done this. I heard something that. over there. I just did too. There was a metal sound yeah, over there. I heard that. Did you hear that? I heard that. 